Hey, what's up, guys? It's Braden Sky here with day 17 of my cross country road trip with the goal hitting all 48 continental U.S. states and all 47 continental U.S. parks. Right now, I'm at park number eight, the Grand Canyon National Park in Arizona. Um, I'm going to be here for two days. My goal the first day is just uh, riding a bicycle around, shoot some B roll, do the rim trail, maybe do some longboarding. And then uh, day two, if you follow me, I'm going to go do this trail right here. I forget the name of it, but it's uh, 10 miles down to me again. <laughs> down to that plateau. I would want to go further to the river, but you would need a permit for that. And they're not issuing permits. But I just got a uh, gimbal and I'm trying to step my video production up. So I'm going to be shooting all my videos from here on out in 4K. Um, so the rest of the video is going to be mostly B-roll. Let's get to the music right now. Hi, what's up guys? It's day two. Today I'm going to be doing the uh, Bright Angel Trail down to the uh, Plateau Point. Yesterday I pretty much just rode my bike around the Rim Trail, which was cool. But today I'm actually going to be able to go into the Grand Canyon. I'm going down to the Plateau Point, which is as far down in the canyon as you can legally go right now. It's going to be about 12.2 miles out and back with a 3,000 feet elevation gain. Uh, everyone says it's very strenuous, but the views down there are amazing. So I definitely want to go see that. Let's do it. So I've done a lot of hikes in a lot of places and I've seen a lot of things, but this sign is definitely a first. It pretty much says, warning, this hike is so strenuous, you might throw up and get sunburnt, which I think is hilarious. But I'm uh, going to be going down to that plateau right there. You can see the trail snaking up. I'm going to be going right there and I think it's uh, going to be really pretty. All right, so I made it to the first rest stop, and I'm pretty much flying down this hill right now, but I'm going to go ahead and make an educated guess that it's going to take a lot longer going up than it is coming down. All right, so I've gone about three miles so far. I'm at the uh, second rest stop. This one's cool because it's got a little hut to chill in, but uh, this sign is funny because it says uh, each year park personnel receive over 350 requests for assistance from ill or injured hikers, which, uh, do the math, is uh, pretty much every day someone on this hike has to get rescued. Uh, so it's no joke. And you can tell this hike is no joke, too, because everyone that's uh, going down the hike, everyone going downhill, they're all happy, smiling. You know, they're taking selfies, having fun, and then everyone going up is just covered in sweat, and they're short on breath. And you can just see, like, the desperation in their face. And uh, not going to lie, I'm pretty ex excited to be that guy, but let me show you the view. So right here, you can actually start to see how deep the canyon actually is, because I'm not even, I mean, I'm three miles into a six-mile hike, and you can already see, you know, probably 1,500, 2,000-foot canyon walls above me that I uh, started at when I was up. I think right there is where I recorded the intro to the video, so pretty high. Uh, so right now, I'm about a mile away from the turnaround point, but I just wanted to turn around and show you guys what's behind me, and then real quick what's in front of me and what I'm going to. So you can really see the canyon, really pretty day, blue skies, white clouds. Great day to be doing this. All right, across the finish line, I'm at Plateau Point. Wanted to give you guys a little 360, show you guys what it looks like. Everything that I'm showing you right now is what I was uh, hiking behind. And then the river is right here. You can see the river going down, see the canyon. And then over here, you're not really going to be able to see much because of the sun. You can still see like the silhouette of everything. See how deep the canyon actually goes. So I've already gone 3,000 feet down. And right now, I think uh, I was going to go from the plateau I'm at, which is probably around like right there, down to the river. Another 1,500 or 2,000 feet. So very grand canyon. All right, now I'm heading back. I'm going to climb all the way up the top of that thing right there, that old rim, would be 3,000 feet. I think that's the equivalent of around 300 flights of stairs. And I was dumb and I only brought one nutrient bar. So whenever I get back up there, I can have a real nice meal. I got some dear friends I was hiking with. I'm uh, a mile and a half away from finishing. Uh, just did all the switchbacks. And honestly, it was 
way easier than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be kind of like the uh, four mile trail in Yosemite. No, it was pretty easy. Uh, I think they oversell the strenuousness of it. Um, but I'll be back in uh, up top in an hour and I'll uh, catch you guys then. All right, I made it up top just in time to watch this beautiful sunset. They uh, definitely, definitely, definitely oversold how hard the hike was gonna be. It really was not as strenuous as they said it was gonna be. But anyway, uh, I've been doing videography for like two days, I would say. Pretty much since I got the gimbal, I started doing videography. Uh, if you guys have any feedback on this video, please let me know in the description. Uh, let me know what you think I did good. Let me know what you think I did bad. Uh, I think it'll really help me out, make uh, better videos for you guys. Um, as always, if you enjoy the video, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you want to see more like this, consider hitting the subscribe button. My name is Braden Sky. Peace.